case you're coming across this channel for the first time welcome my name is Muthoni please show some love by hitting the subscribe button for returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content please support me further by liking this video and sharing it with friends so that YouTube knows that this video is helpful and uh, it will suggest it to other amazing people just like you. Today I'm going to do a very interesting topic that I've wanted to do for quite some time and um, every time I look at people I look up to on YouTube, I look at their very first video and I also look out for maybe the first video when they started making money or when they're talking about um, their growth on YouTube and it really encourages me so um, I have received this question over and over and I'm for real actually this is the only question I receive on my YouTube uh, people ask me what equipment I use and majority of the people ask me if YouTube pays me for the content I create so instead of answering just that question as plain as it is, I thought it will be wise for me to share the whole YouTube journey because I feel I've grown quite well. I've really grown on YouTube. My YouTube has grown to a place I never imagined it would reach. So I think it's important to just share this journey with someone who is coming up and since I've been inspired by other people, let me also inspire someone. Uh, when you start YouTube, the first thing is like, the, the worries are, will I get enough subscribers? Will I get, even I don't think watch hours are the first things that come to your mind. You keep asking, will I get the amount of subscribers that I require to get monetized? And that's what kept bothering me over and over. I started my YouTube channel in 2016, but I, it was not like I intended to start the YouTube channel. I just needed to post a video on YouTube and you have to have a channel. I didn't even know I'm ever going to use my channel ever again, but I posted my first video of, on in 2016 and I didn't ever think about starting YouTube ever since. So there's a time I discovered people do content on YouTube. It wasn't that serious. And I remember asking my friend, mm, can I just post a video without talking? Or maybe demonstrate something and have someone narrate. And then they were like, yeah, you can do that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't know so much about YouTube. At that time, um, I don't even think I had um, access to internet that much. So um, I didn't pay attention to YouTube when it was quite new in Kenya until sometime in I think 2017 when my friend was asking me if I can do a YouTube video I was just like ah no so um, late 2018 my friend his name is Teach and I have done a video with him so please just go and look at a video that I've done with a male and you see that video I'm going to leave it somewhere I'm going to suggest it somewhere so you can go and watch that video and see the person who inspired me to join YouTube so 2018 late um, he asked me if I would like to try and do YouTube and at that time I was doing something there was a job I was doing in 2019 2018 and at that now at at this point i don't have anything to do and i don't want to feel like i'm being unproductive so that was an option and i was thinking of maybe doing workouts is a time i was quite fit physically um after high school because i was trying to lose some fat that i'd gained in high school so i decided to go back to that journey and maybe you know become more fit i was thinking maybe i can start my youtube channel to help me become more fit and learn how to edit because that was another major thing that I needed YouTube for. I, I just needed to learn a few editing skills and YouTube was the best option to learn with. You know, it might grow someday and start paying me and I won't lose anything because, you know, I had a, a good phone that was recording 
and um, I had I could access a computer where I could edit my content. So um, that's what was keeping me um, interested on YouTube with YouTube. So um, I started um, thinking about YouTube in late 2018. In 2019, now that's when I did my first videos. And the first video, I guess, was the burger video. The second one was um, chili chutney. And I had another workout video, which is no longer on my channel because it makes me feel a bit stupid. You know, like all YouTubers feel stupid about the videos they did at the beginning. I did a number of other YouTube videos that made me kind of feel stupid and they're no longer public. I can view them but they're no longer public. I still have them on my YouTube. Maybe sometime I'll make them public uh, for us to laugh together. But um, yeah, um, I did a couple of such videos and at that time, remember, as much as I want to learn how to edit, I still don't know how to use uh, Premiere Pro editing software. So I have to depend on someone to edit for me and I had to depend on someone to shoot for me as well. So that didn't go well because I had to depend on two people and um, you know, when you have to depend on people to shoot for you and you're not paying any of them um, it gets a bit hard so I stopped I, I kind of gave up on shooting and I, will, I, I kind of got busy um, during the year and I stopped thinking about YouTube again so um, later that year I remember um, I started thinking maybe next year I should travel more and shoot travel videos and I kept getting myself in um, in situations where I'm traveling or I'm going to do kind of some activities that are worth recording and posting online but I didn't ever get the chance to shoot or do anything of the kind um, so I decided you see in 2020 I'll do travel videos and I'll travel the whole country and then if my channel grows I'll travel all over the world and record my journey so um, in 2019 end of 2019 I remember I attended my cousin's graduation and I forced everyone who attended that function to subscribe to my channel and we got to over 270 something i guess 278 and the reason i remember uh this number so well is because that's the last time i ever kind of forced someone to subscribe to my youtube channel i felt i was being too much you know like not everyone is interested in youtube not everyone is interested in the kind of content that you post so it's only fair to just let people subscribe if they want just shoot content and put it out there if someone wants to subscribe they will and that is one of the best decisions i ever made because until now i've never really gone to ask people to subscribe by force you know i tell people yes i tell people i do youtube content when that topic comes up and if people want to subscribe they do subscribe the first time i wanted to do a youtube video was when i was um i did zip lining in 2020 because the first uh the first months of 2020 didn't quite go well i had I had I, I lost two people and you know like you know two close people and I had to attend burials so um, like the first month was lost and the second one so in March the beginning of March that's when I think so when I wanted to start so the first adventure that I went to was zip lining and I went with a couple of friends and um, I went with a couple of people that were friends to my cousin and some my and another cousin and a brother so uh, i didn't record the journey because you know like when you're ziplining 
you can't have your pocket uh, you can't have the phone in your pocket so i had left my phone and i didn't get the chance to record these videos we only had one phone that had um, that the instructor for the zip lining was holding so he recorded some of these videos for us and you know since i'm not the only person on that um or on the video i didn't really want to post it online because i i wasn't friends i wasn't close to these other people to ask them if i can post this content online so i didn't bother and then on that that was on a saturday and the friday before um the first covid case had been announced in kenya and you know what happened after that the whole country was locked and we couldn't go anywhere so my travel plans were cancelled however that was kind of a very good thing for me because i now had to you know i was trying to be productive during that quarantine period and with the help of my friend janet i don't know if she remembers this um i was inspired by another friend called valentine through her podcast she stopped doing podcasts by the way i don't know why but through her podcast i was able to come up with this topic of uh, youths not being able to access funds or not being able to manage their funds and low income and i decided to maybe look for alternative ways to earn cash and i came up with this amazing video which was top 10 side hustle jobs that you can do in kenya however i lost some footage and it ended up being top five that video i scammed every comment on facebook with my link i was going to every post on youtube there was this group called side hustle 24 7 and i spammed that um that um page with my comments every single day and my video crew um i wasn't getting as much views uh, during those days but that video blew up not at like not all at once but even to date it's the most viewed youtube video on my channel so that video really helped me but since i didn't have other videos to support that video which is one of the mistakes that people make consistency is key and you need to be consistent with the kind of content your youtubers um your your subscribers or your viewers love so if you discover this is what people like just go with it run with it and post more consistent consistently um with kind of similar similar what similar topics people will follow you for that and as much as i did i, I did a couple of other videos that year in 2020 but i didn't produce a video every week i just did a few like more three three four five videos i don't even think there were more than five videos that year so 2020 um i stopped even looking at my youtube channel because you know like i was not getting i was thinking i should just let this channel grow and then when it grows i'm going to to start now posting videos because i know i have subscribers enough subscribers and you know like that way i can um i can uh, post videos so that i get watch hours so that i get monetized so i stopped posting videos and i stopped following up on my content then later I just went and found like suddenly 500 and something subscribers and they kept on growing 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 until one day i realized uh, one video has gotten to over 10,000 views and there's also this other one for passport application that got a number of views and now i discovered 
uh, people are, are starting to notice me. So I started posting one video, one video. I remember, I guess, in 2021, I posted like three videos. In 2022, I didn't post a single video. Can you imagine? So I went back to my analytics and started thinking, you know, like, fine, I got to over a thousand subscribers, but I still don't have the watch hours that are required for me to get monetized. So what do I do? Um, when I was looking back, like, of, of course, once in a while, I could go back to YouTube and look at my analytics and get discouraged and stop posting. So one of the things that I had discovered at this time, at, at this time is, is one, had gotten over um, a thousand subscribers and um, I was getting between 58 to 60 subscribers every 28 days. And that's a good number, honestly, for small YouTubers because you've not asked anyone to subscribe. And initially, I was thinking getting subscribers is the hardest thing. But to be honest, the hardest thing on YouTube is getting the 4,000 watched hours. Wow. That is where the whole story begins. Previously, I was getting between 1300, 13, 13, 1300 in the last 365 days. In the last year, you find 1300 hours watched. So, in, 20, in 2023, in 2022, I shot a video which I published this. It was the first video that I published this year, 2023. So um, I was attending a boot camp in Nyeri. So when I came back, I realized, I realized my YouTube had grown from the 1300 watched hours to over 2000 watch hours. Can you guys imagine? Not a single video that have published nothing, but had gotten that. I had worked. I had gotten two thousand, over over two thousand watched hours. So I decided if I didn't get anything last year, if I have this kind, this amount of hours at this point, and I posted nothing. Last, the whole of last year how about I post a video at least a video every week what will that what will that do to me so if you've noticed this year I've posted a video every week I had started with posting on Wednesdays but then I discovered that most people most of my subscribers are online on Thursdays their afternoon and you know YouTube gives you these details on the YouTube studio so it's something that um, will help you and it will guide you uh, on the appropriate time to post so um, I posted a video and it kind of blew up just for a few hours and i wish i wish it continued blowing up even if people were watching for like a minute or so because if within four hours i'd gotten over 500 views and it's not something i get quite often it's um i get maybe 100 views a week 100 views a week 100 views a week uh, for each video I, I post and after like I upload another video now people forget about this video and they start watching this other video so um, that video really blew up uh, for some hours and then it stopped mm -hmm. so um, it kind of boosted the hours but you know like every day it changes you know um, the other 365 days are you know like behind now and you're going it's not like they're going to add the other 365 days and you know like these other 365 days so um, I have to keep posting consistently until I get to the 4,000 watched hours so 
the truth is no matter how attractive my youtube looks i have videos that are doing quite well on youtube um you have these um the first video that blew up and these others that follow up uh follow keep following and it's the least it's 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 the least video is it's it's the last videos that you expect to blow up that actually blow up so um my youtube is quite is doing quite well in terms of views but i failed it by not posting content every day so um by not posting content consistently so i failed myself and for that reason i have not yet attained the 4000 watched hours but if you watched this video to this point you've helped me get closer and i hope by the time maybe um i'm getting to a few a, a few months from now i'll have blown up and um i'll have attained the required uh, amount of watch towers because i already have the amount of subscribers required and i'll keep updating you on um the monetization and how much i earn on youtube so please um leave a comment down below please like this video please subscribe to my channel and help me get the amount of hours that are required for me to get monetized so i love you guys i hope this video encouraged someone or i shared this video and this journey with people that really required encouragement if you mm, you're wondering whether to start a youtube channel or if you're wondering whether to give up or um continue or if you're feeling like giving up on YouTube, your youtube please don't give up we are in this together um you can contact me we talk about youtube i have a few friends that know more about youtube i keep getting information from these people we can grow together as like a community of small youtubers let's not give up on each other let's encourage everyone let's um support each other please watch all my other, my other videos because you'll be helping me get to the four thousand watch hours i'm almost there guys so i'm hoping one of my videos will blow up and give me the required amount of hours so i love you guys thank you for watching this video i hope to see you on the next one.